Hello, hello, it's Kevin here. Time for a video. We're carrying on with Cambridge 16 Academic uh, Writing Task 1. This is test number three, the one about the uh, airport map now and in the future. So, as always, dis disclaimer first fair use, teaching, etc. Okie doke, get that out of the way. So, this is the one now. In terms of maps, there's a few different types. So the most common, I would say, usually is past and present. So you've got a map of some town or some village and you have to compare what has changed over the time. Um, this one is not so common. So it's the airport now and future plans. Okay, so obviously for your maps, you're going to be probably using more passive than anything will be constructed will be built or if it's past and present has been constructed was developed etc you know so you're going to be using passive and probably uh future simple maybe pro probably future perfect will have been done will have been finished etc here and if it's past and present probably pres and perfect has been built you know etc so you just need to, to uh, keep that in mind when you do have a map uh, question. I say most common ones are usually uh, past and present. You're doing a comparison. Now, what we've got to do is clearly identify, as it says here, the main features. So that's what we need to be looking at. Now, this is something that a lot of you seem to be doing incorrectly every time. We've done about this should be seven now of these yeah so and a lot of you don't get the overview right if you don't get the overview correct you're not going to get a good score for task uh, achievement so criteria again a fair light use blah 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 so all the requirements of the task no relevant information so if you want to get a very high task achievement so you know you've got your grammar vocab blah 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 but for a, a lot of you, it's task ad, achievement every time. <clears throat> okay, so no relevant inf information could be appropriately added to improve a task achievement score. Now, I'll show you my sample in a bit so you can see how I would approach it. So, key features clearly presented, well highlighted, clear overview, main trends identified information key features right so if you don't get a good overview if you're not careful you get fired for task achievement yeah so what's the big picture what's the changes so you cover that first main changes then you can go into a bit of detail okay so we can see here it's quite obvious that the main feature here is um, the number of of gates of boarding boarding gates has doubled. It's more than doubled from eight to eighteen. So the physical um, structure of a building has considerably en enlarged, as we can see. Uh, so you've got all these gates, the walkways been replaced by a sky train, and then you've got some minor additions to the interior so you've got some shops they've moved the passport contra uh, they they've moved what was that the, the check-in desk ground with some new amenities so security passport control customs that's unchanged so got some new gates skytrain new additional features okay so there's quite a few things to be talking about there okay so let's take a look at mine first and let's see, this one's mine, 188 words. So the plans show the current layout of Southwest Airport and its future layout a year later after redevelopment. So introduction is pretty straightforward, right? Now, key trends. Overall, the main changes will be number of the gates, SkyTrain, and new amenities. So that's essentially it. Gates, walkway. I mean, it is now into the details. The most obvious and significant changes are to the number of the gates for boarding the aeroplanes. 
Now, this is where you go into the details, right? So you don't have any figures or details in the overview, just the general trends. But here, you have to go into a bit of stuff, you know? Increase down to eight, increase to 18, with a new SkyTrain, adding some shops, security, passport control. Another major change, several new amenities, new cafe, ATM and car hire, new doors, other minor changes are, sorry, other minor changes are, cafe desk will be repositioned. Okay, so you've got what, future perfect, uh, using that, okay, future simple. Okay, so you can see then what we're doing here, yeah? So that's not too bad, that's 188 words, yeah? It's not bad at all. Now, I'll just leave it, yeah, you should be able to see it all. I'll just leave it there. Okay, so introduction's pretty easy. Overview, and then go into the details. And as it says, no information. So I think that would score pretty well for task response. I think so. Okay, so let's have a peep at yours now and see what we can do. So, yeah. So I took the first five from IELTS 9 Pro, our Telegram group. Um, if you're watching on IELTS 9 Pro, uh, hello. If you're watching on a Parrot or on the site or in the group, as I say, first um, five were chosen. If you're watching this on my channel on YouTube, although my channel's called The English in Native, IELTS 9 Pro is a joint venture that I run with my, with well, a friend of mine in, in Tehran. And I also do the OET one. So you can see those if you look. There's all the links. If you're watching on uh, YouTube, etc., you can join our group on Telegram. If you need any lessons on italki, my teacher profile is at the bottom also. Okay, then. So let me put some changes on. Here we go. Now, I'm probably not going to rewrite all these. If there's some obvious errors, I'll change them, make a comment, but I'm not going to rewrite all five of your uh, writings if they need it. I haven't got time. So the left picture, um, well, right, it's a map, so save the map. She was currently at an airport, right. What's the airport's name? We know the airport's name, include it. It's, it's a Southwest airport, Southwestern airport or whatever. Proposed change of airport space. Okay, but you missed out the name of the airport. Significant changes, right. Such as, such as a completely new, is that supposed to be there one? There will be a completely new entrance. Well, it's not gonna be a completely new entrance. They're putting two new doors in, apparently, and a new section for Midland up of the plan. So that overview essentially tells us us nothing. And a new section for Midland up of the plan? What does that mean? So that's not particularly good. Present, there is two walkways. Well, there, there are. Well, there's only one because it's just one walkway, isn't it, from there up to there, with eight gates. While at proposed plan, right. oh dear. While at the proposed plan or in the proposed plan, they will be re um, replaced with or by two sky trains with eighteen gates. It is going to. It is going. Who is it? There is going to make. Or so there will also be shops. It is going to make mm, in up of a security part. So um, you know, I would be working on general. English for a while first before thinking of the arts test you've got a subject so you've got some kind of a pronoun here and you know I'm not sure who it refers to going to make shops in up so we've got some prepositions here we've got some subjects we've got some verb forms anyway as I say I'm not uh, gonna change all this stuff so there's quite a few things here the security in the middle of the plan, of plan, the plan, the building are not going to be changed. Departures section, put a comma, the check. So article use, 
the check-in, the plan will be re replaced, tour, backdrop, tour, don't you mean with? Is it going to be replaced or is it being simply moved, repositioned? Our check-in will be transferred, tour, corner next to a backdrop in the... Okay, I say, so, um, this needs a fair bit of work on general English here. All right, as I say, I'm not going to write every single change here because one, I haven't got time, two, can't be asked. So there's quite a few things here. I would get someone to take a look at this and go through prepositions, articles, auxiliary verbs, are, is, was, were, be, you know, there's quite a few things here that need a bit of a change. Okay, let's see what we've got for the next one. Right, what's the airport called? It actually tells you this. I mean, look at it. I mean, doesn't it tell you? Yeah, Southwest Airport. It actually tells you, you know. So you can include that information. It tells you it's the Southwest Airport. Okay. Well, it's not being re rebuilt, is it? It's not being rebuilt. If it were completely demolished or flattened, then it would be rebuilt. But it's not, so it's not being rebuilt. There's some additions, there's some additional construction, but it's not being, you could say, redeveloped, which is not the same as uh, re rebuilt. Now, overview, overview, not underview. I would put that paragraph two. Uh, that doesn't work at all. Key trends. Overall, it's clear the development among the most part of the site will be, will happen in the next year. Well, that's not an overview. That's not identifying key trends and features. And also, 143 words, you automatically get a penalty in any case because it's under length. So, you need to get that introduction. So, the airports, all the key, you know, Information's there. It's called the Southwest Airport. It's a map, like a plan. Get all that stuff in. A clear ov overview. The criteria is pretty pretty clear on this. If you don't have a good clear overview, you get a five. We don't have one. So automatically, task achievement, you get five and probably lose an additional band for only being 143 words. So that's not getting off to a particularly good start. Number of departures part. Part, you mean gates will be increased. Increased from what to what? From, what is it, 8 to 18? A sky train will be developed completely. A new bog drop, bog, bag drop. New ATM. So this doesn't really work, okay? There's no, organ you know, the cohesion and... The coherence part would not be, uh, you know, the paragraphing followed with ease. No, not not really, not really. Mm, organization, so you know, it's like mm, we're coming down kind of here now. You know, so logic. You need to logically arrange it. So introduction. Overview, figures and details, figures and details, depending on what the task is. Okay. Now, it's obvious that the key feature here, as I said, is the new gates. So, I would do the biggest first, right? The biggest changes here are the gates and the SkyTrain. That's the obvious biggest thing, because that's additional. It's being built. The rest of the buildings the same, some changes in the interior, but the obvious first key feature is we've got these gates. I would put that first. Gates and the train. How many? We can't just simply say have increased from what? From 8 to 18. Then the train, then some of the minor stuff inside. So I start at the gates as I did and work backwards towards the entrance. That would be logical, I think. Okay. Mm, that one, yeah, okay. So that needs a bit of uh, work also, I think. The given plans, right. Can nobody tell me what this airport's called? Ah, right now. 
somebody's put the actual name of the airport. Mm -hmm. Developed in next year, in the next year. Okay, so that's better. But I, I would put the airport name of the Southwest Air, Airport, but at least it's it's kind of here. Now, again, overview. It's not telling me what these changes are. It's saying there's some changes, but so let me get this. Right. So, hmm, but some things are changing, but some things are not. Okay, so you can see why I said earlier overview. You've got to get it right. If you don't, task achievement score is going to go down. Fact, not my opinion. That's what the criteria says. So, as we see in the current figure, figure, current figure, in the current map, or, or currently, eight gates are two walkways, which will be changed up to 18. Well, it's not adding up to 18 gates, it's adding up to 10. Additional and additional 10. After development, what is supposed to do? Sky trains of the south of the airport, when you go to the check in, how you to check in, have we changed? Okay. Okay, now, so this is, is better. Okay, okay, so all that I'll say here is so that's better, a lot better, but still, overview. That's the thing letting this one down, okay? Overview. Let's see what else we've got. Two different plans Southwest airplane, airplane, hmm, well, maybe it's an airport. It's not, ex it's not explaining because what I'm doing is explaining. It's illustrating, maybe, or showing what the site looks like now and what it might be changed. Well, it's what it's what will be changed. It's not might and what it and what will be changed. OK. Overview again. The late structure late structure base conserved so so again overview why do i keep having to say this every single video anyway i'm not going to say anything more i've just i've said it for the last three so main remarkable why are they remarkable they may be significant but not remarkable it doesn't mean the same thing the main changes may be included maybe so what what's this modal verb use might may it's definite plans it's not well maybe we'll add some extra gates uh, or maybe not it's definite plans so there's no sorry <clears throat> so there's no may or might about it uh use the gateways how many how many tell me how many it will be predicted well it's not a prediction is it it's it's a uh, it's a plan. It's a layout. That's what they're going to do. So it will be predicted. A prediction is like a, a forecast, you know, like somebody looking into the future. I think it's going to rain tomorrow. I predict so-and-so will win the Champions League. I don't know. That's a prediction. This isn't. Okay. To facilitate people's entering by two-sided doorway. And help the people's trap. Okay. Now... There's some, there's some grammar stuff here and some vocab, but I just want to point out this. Mm. So this is supposition. You can't prove this. It probably is, but don't include things that are not specifically there. It's simply, I can see this. We don't want your opinion on what this may do or what this may result in. That's something that they don't like, so I won't put that. Predicted, uh, predicted, okay, okay. I'll discuss changes. Some parts of both airports plan will be remain steadily, will remain or remain un unchanged. Mm. Quite a lot of grammar and vocab here. Checking process, okay, at the same place in both plans, you know, might, be, might make really huge, impressive changes. Um, 
again, are they significant, considerable, you know, but really huge impressive changes? I wouldn't really use uh, that. So that needs a bit of work also. And let's take a look at this final one. Mm. Now, first thing, way too short, penalty. Uh, depict some evolution. Well, it's not evolution, is it really? St strictly speaking, it's not uh, evolution. These maps depict. Mm, okay. The central section, well, central section okay. again, overview tells me nothing. Uh, check in, such change their play. So, right. Why would you not put the biggest feature first? Like I say, biggest feature. As we can see, the most obvious feature is, hang on, let me get my ace pen. The most obvious feature is this. You know, so the airport's like this, and now it's going to be like this, with this huge extra gate. That's the most obvious feature. So, you know, right, so when it talks about key trends, and features. What you're doing is, what's the biggest? What's the smallest? What's changed? How many things are unchanged? These kind of things. So do those first. Biggest obvious feature here is that. And then that. That's connected with like that. And then the shops. Moving things around. And then finally, it's the gates. And also that makes sense Logically, because you're starting uh, from the back of the airport and you're moving all the way through into the entrance. Okay, so I'll take a look at that one. Um, retained three options will be for the corridor in which links, which links, which connects, expanded by two routes in the northeast, angle, replaced one or so. So, why do we have, right, we finally have this thing about the gates, but why is that the final, the final thing? Oh, and, and by the way, the most considerable feature is right at the bottom. Okay, so it's too short, not enough detail, um, there's some grammar and vocab, which again, I'm not going to rewrite the entire thing. So main thing to take away from all of this really is overview right again key trends and features get that right and you'll go a long way so i'll just leave mine there you can have a look at it and i'm going to do a video for task number four i'm sorry which is the plastic bubbles recycling bit. so that's uh, a process I'm going to take a look at that, uh, maybe not today, tomorrow, on Monday. We'll see, because it's New Year's Eve today, and uh, I have other things to do than sit here all day <laughs> making videos. So, I hope that helps. Main thing to take away is that. I'm not going to use that. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to use that word again, but mm, that's what you've got to do. And a lot of you have got grammar and vocab issues all over. But that's the key thing that you all have in common, it seems. So, hope that helps. See you next time.